Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to follow up on the curve video that I did and show you how to bring in an SVG file, which is a scalable vector graphics file that will allow you to take a relatively complex logo and create a 3D object out of it. Ready? Let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics. And I'm going to grab one that I made here and import it. And you see that it comes in pretty small. Okay, here's my little deco architectural thingy and it's pretty small. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to do two things to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Object, Transform, and I'm going to say Origin to Geometry. That snaps the origin to the center of this geometry. And then I'm going to snap this to the center of the grid. So I'm going to go Object, Snap, and I'm going to say Selection to Cursor. Okay, that's the 3D cursor in the middle. Now this is nice and centered and it'll move from the center so I can scale it up now. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to go to scale and I'm going to say 40. Makes it nice and big. Okay, so there's our object and you can see that it's now all curves. So I can operate on this just like I did with curves. So I'm going to go over here to this little curve data thing. And I'm going to leave it on 2D. If I go 3D, it just does outlines. 2D. And I can extrude it. And you know, it's, it's really dark right now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here to, uh, to this material tab. And I'm going to take this diffuse color and I'm going to make it white so we can see it. So there it is. We can see it. And now I can go back to this little curve thing and just like I did in the last video, I'll leave it at 2D. Okay. And I will say extrude. Oops. Give it some depth. And I can give it a bevel. Alright. 0.001. This is pretty small. Oops. See. I have to go even smaller than that, so 0 0.0001. There we go. Now it has a nice little edge on it. And I can rotate it. So I'll rotate it around. And I'll go rotate it 90 so it stands up. And there is my logo thingy. It's that easy. And from there you can assign shaders and textures and do whatever you want with it. And if you want to keep it editable, you can keep it as a curve. Or the last thing you can do to make it solid, if you wanted to use polygons on it and have faces and vertices and all that and sculpt and whatever, is you could go to Object, Convert to Mesh from Curve. Okay, And now you go in and you have, it's all polygons. But if you didn't want to do that, you could simply leave it as curves and here's all your curve data. So you can go in and further refine it by just selecting these little points here and moving them around and doing whatever you want. Keep in mind though, when you bring this in, it's pretty heavy. So there's quite a bit of data here. So you kind of have to really get in there and refine things pretty tightly, but it allows you to go in and edit. So if you got something out of this and you like the video, very quick, very fast, that's simply how to bring in a scalable vector graphic that you've prepared in any other program that you've done. You can bring it in and have a fully working 3D object. And something like this, modeling this, would take quite a while. But you see here that just bringing in the SVG from Illustrator really lets you bring in some cool stuff and, and, uh, and have something to work with that's pretty detailed already. And you see how fast that happened. Okay, so if you got something out of this video, hit like, subscribe, share it, love it. Hit the little bell notification. Hang a sign on your door that says, I watch Blender Binge, whatever. I don't care. But go and, and uh, play around with this. It's very, very powerful. And you will become awesome. So go forth and become awesome. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.